the Hultefors Craftsman. Now, I have this in two varieties, and I think it represents the best value for money, the best bang for buck of a budget fixed blade currently on the market. Now, that's based on UK market price. Now, these are a typical Scandi Grind Bushcraft Outdoors type knife. Um, I do for carving, that sort of thing, processing wood. Now, this is the standard model, polymer handle, and the advanced enhanced grip. Uh, standard model, stainless steel, enhanced grip is a carbon steel, both of which have identical uh, polymer sheaths. The sheaths are quite basic, the belt clip on them isn't great, but they do give you an additional loop. Um, which you can use to create a dangler, which is what I've done. I like to just wear this one as a dangler. Now, sheets are drip vented, so you don't need to worry too much about rust. Now, the stainless steel on them is not a super steel for you know the price, and we'll get to that in a minute. It is going to take a rust even on the stainless. The carbon and the stainless will both rust if you don't keep on top of them, but it's not catastrophic. You know these are good chunky spines here. This one here, the basic model, my wife actually uses it as a kitchen knife because she prefers the grip on it to, you know, your common or garden kitchen knife grip. Um, the enhanced grip is very similar but rubberized, so a lot more choke up there. You do have a finger guard and a pommel. Now I've got medium sized hands, they fit absolutely perfectly in mine. Um, the carbon steel and the stainless steel, both a full scandi grind, both a four inch blade, both with a needle tip. Um, both will take a lot of abuse. I have been pretty rough with mine, particularly with this one, which I've had the longest. They will throw sparks from a fire steel with a ferrocerium rod. I have filed the spine of mine ever so slightly just to make it a bit more accurate at that, but they will do it from the factory spine as well, which, which is what this one has. Now, the reason I think these represent the biggest bang for buck is the price. Now you're getting a lot of knife for the price. This one here, the basic model, retails for eight pounds, eight pounds sterling, shipped to your house from Amazon. And the enhanced grip is nine pounds. You know, they are under ten pounds. You will not beat that for a fixed blade bushcraft knife of good quality. You might get a Chinese one that's horrendously terrible, or at least passable, but you won't get one of this level of quality for that price. There just isn't something on the market that will compete with that. Mora have an awesome reputation, awesome knives, and they are possibly a better build quality with these. You know, there's not a great deal in it, having used both, but you're paying a bit more for it. You're still getting a great product and great value from Mora Knife, but the Hultifors is cheaper for equivalent value, and you just cannot beat that, in my opinion. Now, these aren't full tang, they're a partial tang, but it's a substantial partial tang, and they will take a beating. You can pound on the spine, you can batten with them, process wood, the whole nine yards. You can hit the spines with a hammer, literally, and they will not deform beyond, you know, ever so slight marking, uh, mild deformation. They will take a wicked edge just with light stropping or even just a butcher steel, kitchen butcher steel. Um, we'll, we'll keep these running perfectly, which is what I use on this one, which we use in the kitchen at home. And on this one I just use um, ceramic rod or leather strop, depending on what mood I'm in. So, there they are, absolutely identical, except for the grips. £9, £8, with sheaths. Now the sheaths have a real positive click. They do not fall out. Um, again, built clips on them, mediocre, but you know, at that price you can't really complain. But I do use just a basic dangler on this one which I've made with a, a piece of uh, leather and just a small carabiner. And then I just hang that off my belt loop on my trousers when I'm camping. That to me represents the best value in a bushcraft fixed blade on the market currently. Let me know if you disagree. Always happy to hear an opinion, but that to me for £9 will not be better.